I want to add a SAO plugin, so I'll go to plugins area here and click add new. And I'm going to search for all in one SAO. And do a search. And a little bit down here on list, it says all in one SAO pack. I'll install that. Activate plugin. And here on the top, it says it must be configured. So go to admin page. It is the same as the settings here, right here. And we'll just click that. So here on the on the top, you can see change uh, changes for this version, the FAQ, support translations or upgrade to pro version. And right now that is $89 at the semperplugins.com website. So these are the ads for the free plugin. You can make a donation. Plugin settings, I want that enabled. So home title here is the same as going into settings and general. So site title, title is the same as home title right here. So I'm going to paste in this. This is my uh, acting portfolio. Home description is the same as the tag line area here. So if you want, you can just remove this, have this empty, and instead just add it in right here. So I'm going to add this text here. Keywords. Uh, I don't think they're that important any longer, but it's nice to add anyway. So my keywords for this site is these right here. So we're just going to leave this in as it is. And we're going to go down to Google Analytics ID. I have earlier signed up for Google uh, Analytics and basically just do a search for it and you'll come right into the google.com analytics. So I have already just signed in. So you need a Gmail account. So my account home these are my two sites here that I have with uh, analytics. So I'm going to choose the site. I'll come into the standard reporting area, which you see is loading right now. So I can see how many has been visiting and where they're from, different areas of the world. What I want to do, I want, uh, I want the uh, Google An Analytics ID. So to find that, I need to go click this uh, wheel gear and the gear icon here. So here you can just set up new profile if you need to. I have then the two. I'll go to tracking code. And this is then my tracking code. I'll copy that into the box right here. So this is very simple. This will then include the Google Analytics. I'll just leave these as they are. Just leave it blank and I'll do uh, update options. So they're update right now. What I want to do now, I want to just go to one of my pages or posts. So let's say I go to my acting images here. I can scroll down and underneath the Themify custom panel is the all-in-one SAO pack. So I can change the title if I want or I'll just leave it as it is, acting images and I can add a description. I'll just do a copy and paste. I can add some keywords, tile attribute, menu label for this, or disable on this page or post. So this is good to do on all my pages and all my posts to add in some more information for SAO search engines. And what I also should do 
is going to my media library and go into the various pictures here and add alternate text and a description. This will also help for SAO purposes. So this was a quick run through of uh, all-in-one SAO pack.